Hey there, I'm Jakob Magnusson. I have a passion for boating. On this YouTube channel, Sailing Lilla Mi, you can follow my adventures in the shop during winter and the fantastic sailing in Stockholm archipelago during summer. Lilla Mi is my Beneteau Oceanis 411 sail yacht. So please come along. And in this video, I will show you how I manufactured new lenses for my Lumar port lights sitting on my Beneteau 411, also called Lila Mi. The problem, as you can see on this footage, was that the acrylic lenses had severe crackles from UV exposure. And I also heard that chemicals and detergents and similar could accelerate such process. So after 22 years, it's time to change them. The Lumar standard port light series have been produced since 1982 and there has been a number of changes throughout the year. So which port light is which? The old standard is easily recognized with the turnable knobs. The new standard have handles to open and close the lens. From 1997 to June 2000, the new standard port light was made with hinges and the handle catches fixed to the outer frame with a pressing process. These are called Mark I. In June 2000, the port light was changed to use screw on catches and hinges. These are the Mark II models. The hinge pins in these were 4mm in diameter. In 2007, the Mark II was further modified to have a 5mm hinge pin, so there are really three versions. I have the Mark I port light on Lila Mi, and unfortunately those lenses are not available as spares. The options was to change the complete port light or to manufacture new lenses. I choose the later, it's cheaper and it's a fun project. First thing is to remove the lenses from the port lights. I use a flexible screwdriver made for hose clamps and an allen key bit to loosen the bolts in the hinges. Then it's easy to pull out the bolt and the lens can be removed. I put the nuts and bolts in a plastic pouch for later. I have nine port lights on the Lamy. Here is the first batch of five ready for the workshop. I use some plastic sheets and tape to cover the openings during the time I work on the new lenses in the workshop. So now I'm in the workshop. First step is to remove the, the hinges and the catches from the acrylic. First I remove the catches with a screwdriver and a hammer. I create a holder with a wooden joist and three clamps to keep the lens in a vertical position. I use a 10 mm chisel to wedge out the fitting from the acrylic. I start in the upper part where the fitting is narrow. I use rather forceful strokes. It's a very good feeling when the fitting snaps loose. A slightly smaller chisel, maybe 8 or 6 millimeters, would be better for this work. Then it's easy to loosen the rest of the fitting. From the nine lenses, I removed in total 40 fittings. The first one took 15, 20 minutes. In the end, I did a fitting in less than a minute. Then I need to clean up the remainder of the glue. Again, a six or eight millimeter chisel would be more appropriate for this job. it's necessary to have some space under the fitting for the glue to sit in. Now it's time to go into the shop and start manufacturing the lenses. I will be using 
polycarbonate sheets and they are 8 mm thick, same as the original lenses. And I've, I've selected clear glass to get as much light as possible into the boat. The polycarbonate sheets I use have a hard surface coating to have better scratch and UV protection. I start by doing a rough cut of the shape with my jigsaw to make the rod thing smoother. I make sure that the edges are smooth and remove uh, the remaining old glue with a knife. The double-sided tape is cut in narrower pieces to create enough holding power but still making it possible to split the pieces by hand. The old lens is taped to the polycarbonate sheet. I use a template router bit which will follow the shape of the old lens and create a rather exact copy. Learning from my mistakes, I use clamps to keep the pieces together. Then the routing begins. It's important to work against the direction of the router bit's rotation. I move the clamps to get access when necessary. So, first one done. The lenses should have a shallow recess for the fittings. It's important that they have the right depth to provide the right pressure towards the sealing strip in the end. First I need to make a template using the old lenses. I start by cleaning up the old glue using the chisel. This table was not the best to do this knocking. Then I use the router using the same router bit as before to remove the glass from the recess area. This is a very delicate work. It's only a one millimeter edge the router should follow. The chisel and a sandpaper is handy when doing the final cleanup. I test with the fitting, it should have a small space around it, maybe a millimeter or so. Then I add an MDF board underneath the template that will provide the right distance for the router bit to have the right vertical distance to the new lens. From experience I only make one template for one fitting, which I later can move to the place where the recess should be for the other fittings. This gives me better control of each recess position and I can reuse it for any lens size. It is very important to get the recess depth correct. I use a leftover piece to try out the setting. The fitting plus the glass should measure 27 millimeters. I think plus minus half a millimeter is acceptable but not more. I position the template carefully with a fitting in the right position to achieve a small space around it. It's exciting to try the first fitting and 
it fits. Checking that it comes all the way in as well. And checking the magic 27 millimeter measurement again. It was a bit difficult to get this part of the process right. I made several attempts on making templates that I later had to scrap. I'm getting closer to the end. I use a chamfer 55 degrees router bit to bevel the edges. I'm adjusting the depth to shave off approximately one, one and a half millimeter of the edges. I test the depth of the router on a left of it. The bevel is only for the appearance, it's not important for the functionality. On the flat side, without the recesses, I route all the way around. On the side with the recesses, I only bevel the parts outside the fittings. Beveling done. That's the last part of the routing. Now it's come to one of the final steps of this process and that's really to glue the hinges and catches to the uh, uh, lenses. I put all the lenses and all the fittings in the right order. Catches on one side and hinges on the other. It would be a terrible mistake to glue them in the wrong way. Again, I measure each fitting in its lens position to ensure I meet the magic 27 millimeters. Some minor tuning with the chisel were needed. I use a Partite 7310 glue. I'll put a link below with some more information on that. It should be used with a glue gun for 50 millimeter cartridges with a special mixer nozzle. First, a little test mix on a paper. Then it all begins. No point of return. When the fitting is in position, I clean up the residual glue with a paper. Nineteen more fittings in this batch. <sighs> this is quite uh, hectic and stressful to do this gluing, but now I'm done. I have the five lenses glued together, so I'm coming to the very close of this project. That was the final part of the job in the workshop. Now it's just to let the lenses dry. Back in the boat to remount the lenses. Will they fit? I start by removing the temporary plastic cover. Then I take the opportunity to clean the rubber seal with some warm water and dishwashing liquid. Then I take glycerol. I lubricate the seals with a 50-50 mix of glycerol and ethanol. As new. So, it's quite exciting. Will the new lenses fit? Seems pretty good. And then we have one here. And the third one.
yes it fits so so long so Wow, I'm really happy. And now it's just to put the, the nuts on them. That's the end of this project. Nine new lenses mounted. I promise to come back with a video of the end result in the summer light. Was it worth it? Yes, I think it was. It would have been a major job to change the nine complete port lights and the material cost was only 10%. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video. See you soon.